group in the scientific, engineering, or foreign affairs communities for outstanding contributions to furthering science diplomacy. Tonight, the Science Diplomacy Award recognizes Dr. Zafra Lehrman through her work as creator and advocate for the biannually, biannual Malta Conferences and as president of the Conferences Foundation, Dr. Lehrman has been instrumental in elevating science cooperation as an instrument of peace and a pathway to addressing the major societal changes in the broader Middle East. The Malta Conferences bring together scientists from 15 Middle Eastern nations for face-to-face -face meetings that would otherwise be prevented by hostilities between the governments. Dr. Lehrman's efforts have played a key role in building lasting links across these countries between researchers at all career levels. The United States Congress has credited the Malta Conferences and Dr. Lehrman's leadership with allowing scientists from opposing sides of the cultural and political conflict to forge relationships that bridge the deep chasms of distrust and intolerance. and to contribute to more peaceful atmosphere, encourage international development, and foster further growth in regional scientific and technological cooperation. Please join me in thanking Dr. Lehrman for her wonderful work and congratulating her on her achievements. First, I have two corsages, as you see, one symbolizes love, the other peace. So this is why I got it too. <laughs> okay, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the AAAS and the committee that selected me to receive this prestigious award in science diplomacy. I also want to thank the members of the Malta Conferences Foundation Board and its International Advisory Committee, the individual and organization who support us financially and all of the participants of the Malta Conferences. Like other people who foster social change, I too had a dream the fulfillment of this dream was realized in major international conferences titled Frontier of Science, Research and Education in the Middle East, A Bridge to Peace. The Malta conferences are designed to provide a forum where scientists from 15 Middle East countries, which individually and collectively often have a hostile relation with one another, can explore what unites them rather than what divides them to provide a forum where there are opportunities to develop activities that will require cooperation among the partners to solve regional problems and to reduce the level of personal animosities that exist in the region and the tendency to demonize the unknown other. Science is probably the only field that contributes to the quality and longevity of life, but also has the ability to cut life short. Therefore, scientists are in a very special position compared to any other profession. They have the responsibility to use their science, their status in society for the betterment of humankind and for all life on planet Earth. Science is an international language. A scientist from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania and a scientist from Bethlehem on the West Bank use the same scientific notation and can communicate scientifically to one another without understanding each other's spoken language. In the words of an Egyptian participant in the Malta Conference, we have only one nationality here, and that is science. The events in the Middle East cast a shadow over the safety of everyone in the world. We see daily violence which is consuming lives and resources while threatening a far wider conflagration. 
Despite these unfortunate circumstances, the Malta conferences show that there is some light at the end of a dark tunnel. The Malta conferences are the only platform in the world where scientists from 15 Middle East countries are collaborating and cooperating on scientific issues as well as developing professional and personal relationships with each other. The common language of science is used for science diplomacy serving as a bridge to tolerance, understanding, and peace between the Arabs, Iranians, and Israelis, and between the Muslim world and the West. Billions of dollars are allocated each year to building weapons of mass destruction. Just a fraction of these funds dedicated to science diplomacy would get, go a great distance in bringing peace to the Middle East. Thank you very much.